Thunderbolt 1000 rotator gear assembly and motor running on 220. Okay, um, the wiring is set up to run on 220, of course. Um, this is the assembly, the gear rotating assembly. This is a motor. I believe this is a one-third horsepower motor. I can't remember the RPMs. I think the RPMs is the same as a blower, as a blower motor. Um, there's three settings, and it works by um, induction and reduction. And the higher gear, this big gear right here, or not gear, it's a pulley that goes to a smaller pulley as a gear induction. It takes the higher horsepower and converts it basically into higher revolutions with less horsepower. The opposite for the gear, uh, gear reduction, which is the smaller gear over here and goes to the bigger gear. That's a gear reduction, which takes high RPMs and converts it into um, uh, higher horsepower which is great for slower speeds because you got a lot of load to be moving and um, with faster speeds you need more RPMs but it takes a little bit longer for it to get spinning. It's just like the gears on your car. First gear is the same as the two RPMs and um, the eight is like your higher gears. I mean it's the same thing really except it, you gotta change them yourselves. But anyways, um, as you see the pulley moves the um, that pulley, which moves this transmission, which really doesn't, it's not really a transmission, it's like a, can't think of the name for it, which moves that tiny gear, as you saw, which moves this huge gear, um, I believe it's labeled gear A. And, um, there's no bearings or anything in it, let me grab my grease rag, it's just on there. Oh, this thing weighs. There we go. As you see, it just kind of pops up. There's a grease pit down there, and it just parks right on top of that grease. This thing's a just parks right on top of that grease pit, and it lubricates it. And you lubricate this pole right here. Still some grease on it. That wasn't a good idea. Um, and that's how it stays lubricated. There's no bearings. Um, that's why you got to grease these things all the time. There's a grease pin there. There's also a grease pin on the housing right there and basically that housing and that little slip right there goes on top um, I'll show a video of that someday but um, maybe tomorrow and then if you ever wondered what the brush collectors sit on they sit on right here it's not in there because it's a pain to actually get in there and it just slips on there there's four uh, screws I only have two in there because it's just a demonstration there's nothing actually sitting on top of it um, that's how it works. This piece, this black piece, I cleaned with, uh, actually, believe it or not, WD-40. That's what we learned in shop class, is you can clean things, mowers, with WD-40. Uh, pretty much everything comes off. Uh, the transmission comes off, the motor comes off, which I just put on, and it's kind of a pain, because even though it's not that heavy, when you're holding it with one hand and screwing it back in, it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, this assembly itself is pretty heavy. It's a pain to carry up the stairs to put it outside. And it really hurts your hands with the sharp corners. I have it bolted right here. These four bolts right here is where the flange would bolt. The flange is like somewhere uh, over there. I'm straightening wires out and I used it as a weight. There's the flange. Um, that's about it. This is kind of a pointless video. All right.